Hi, welcome back to Deep Fried Honey. Today we're going to make shrimp and grits with a spicy tomato gravy. So we start by removing the chaff from our grits, just soak it in water and skim off the top. I have some shrimp that I had brined in water, baking soda, and salt earlier. I'm peeling that now. Uh, it's already been deveined and cleaned. Then I'm going to pat it dry and season it. I'm making kind of a basic Cajun or Creole seasoning. I have a recipe for it on my website. Um, or you can just use your favorite and then cut up some scallions for garnish later. Um, you're going to add your grits along with uh, chicken broth, milk, salt, and I actually added a bit of garlic pepper seasoning here as well. Um, cover it. Make sure that you're whisking it every 10 minutes or so. It's gonna cook over low and it's gonna take a while. You're gonna add about a fourth of a cup of milk as time goes on just to keep it from getting too thick based on the consistency you want. Um, of course, while you're making the grits, you're gonna be building the gravy. And that starts by getting your bacon all fried up and then adding a half a stick of butter to the bacon drippings. After that's melted, you wanna whisk in some flour and this is going to be our roux. We're gonna cook it for maybe 15, 20 minutes until it is a peanut butter color. Then you're gonna add in your can of diced tomatoes. I'm using fire roasted tomatoes. Um, fill that can up with about a cup of water. Shake it up to get you know the tomato juice off the sides and add that as well as some salt, a bit of sugar, and some Worcestershire salt, sauce, salt. <laughs> um, also some cayenne pepper and black pepper. After you have that added, go ahead and crumble up your bacon into the gravy, stir it together, and you should be preheating a, another skillet with a bit of oil on another burner at this time. Gonna get it ready for your shrimp. You wanna cook your shrimp in a single layer. As soon as it turns white or opaque on one side or pink, whatever you like to refer to it as, flip them over. They're gonna cook for maybe two minutes on each side. You don't want them to get overcooked, they'll get rubbery. Um, a good way to tell is they should kind of form C's, but not tightly curled C's because that means they're overcooked. Um, add in your cheese and that half a stick of butter to your grits, well, then you're done. That's kind of literally it. It's very simple, it just, it's kind of time consuming. Um, serve it with the shrimp and the gravy over the grits. Um, we topped it with some scallions, more grated asiago, and crumbled bacon. And it was a big hit here, so I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day today. Bye.